Well, welcome back. A local animal rescue shelter is hosting a fundraiser for medical treatment in Faraday. NBC 10's Vela Maravi has the details and tells us how you can help. We have to have donations. Gas is, is down here on the need list. We, we will worry about that, you know, ourselves. But as far as uh, billing the shelter for it, no, we don't. The Concordia Post Rescue Shelter has been operating for six years, and Watson says it's all thanks to the support from the community. It's really emotional to talk about these dogs, but Layla is, is uh, very sick. She was uh, throwing up blood, clotted blood, which is a sign. This fundraiser aims to cover all medical treatments and supplies needed for the home of 47 dogs. Just like in this photo, you can see Smokey, who suffered from a heartworm condition, which took him 21 days to recover. Selling jambalaya plates, we've sold out. We had to reprint more tickets and tell the, the chef to, please, we need 250 more. So that's, that's outstanding for a small town. Watson says the town of Faraday has been supportive 100 percent, but with high medical expenses, sometimes it's just not enough. I know. <laughs> uh, these are old dogs. They probably would never get adopted. I don't know that. We've tried to provide everything that we can for the dogs to be comfortable, and uh, it, it lacks a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of need there that we could improve on, but we don't. Put them, we don't have the money to do it. The rescue shelter will be hosting a Concordia Pause benefit on April 1st, where more people can be able to make more donations. For more information on how you can make a donation to help dogs like Smokey and Lila, you can visit their website or go to myarclimus.com. Reporting in Faraday and Valerie Moravi for your weather station. Well, in world news tonight.